Welcome to the You Can Be Unstoppable podcast. My name is Evelina Szczeblewska, your host and certified hypnotherapist. In this podcast, I will share with you how to tap into the power of your subconscious mind. I intend to share with you how learning how to use the power of your subconscious mind can help you to create a successful and abundant life with ease, how to connect with yourself while fostering a healthy relationship with your body and mind. Tapping into the power of the subconscious mind will help you to learn how to manage your emotions, become more resilient and present in all of your relationships. Self-love and self-worth are the keys to the kingdom of success and abundance, to happy and healthy life on your terms. Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of You Can Be Unstoppable. I'm so happy that you are here. And today's episode is going to be short and it's all about responsibility. What does that mean to you? What does that mean to you being responsible? And we also need to distinguish between what responsibility means towards yourself and taking responsibility towards others. Because obviously, if you've got young children, you are being responsible for them. However, the responsibility you have in terms of your husband, your parents, your friends, your job, it's a different type of responsibility because everyone needs to take care of their own responsibility. And sometimes with codependent people, we left in this notion that we are somehow responsible for other for other people, for their happiness, for the success. That couldn't be further from the truth because really responsibility towards oneself is self-care. First and foremost, being responsible towards you is really prioritizing your self-care because believe me, you cannot give if you are struggling with burnout. You cannot give if you are emotionally congested. It's just not going to happen. And if you try to give in those instances, ask yourself, are you really fully showing up? Because you're not going to show up the way you really want if you can't show up for yourself. And sometimes when we're trying to recover and build that self-care and taking care of ourselves, we need to slow down and distinguish who we really are responsible for, like, you know, minor children, uh, minors, you know, little kids. It's a different responsibility to, you know, the partner, the job, and so on. So it's really trying to find the balance and identify to what extent we are responsible for certain things. That may take some time, some sifting, some sorting, some reflection, building boundaries, identify really what type of boundaries we need to have in place. And that's a whole different conversation. Then we can really learn to be really truly responsible for ourselves, for our health, for how we show up, for what for ourselves, for building emotional resilience, and how we show up for others, and how we allow others show up for ourselves. So that takes time and some sifting and, and sorting, like I said, and definitely, definitely, 100%, it's all about dealing with past. Because if we allow emotional hurts from the past 
trauma from the past, um, past experiences. If we allow all of that to affect how we show up, how we love ourselves, how we um, allow emotions and habitual thought patterns affect us, then you won't be able to really truly take the responsibility for yourself. So there is a bit learning, and I say again, sifting and sorting. So what I want you to take away from this really short episode is that self-care means taking responsibility for oneself. Journal around this, meditate around this, go into silence around this, sit with it. However you choose to do is fine as long as you do it. So I hope that kind of give you some food for thought, some food for reflection, and I'll see you next week. Thank you for listening. If you found value in this podcast, I would like to ask you to leave a positive review explaining how this episode helped you to improve your life. I ask you to do this because this will help all the people to improve their lives as well. Share and spread the love all around you. Raise your vibrations to improve your life. If you would like more transformational content like this, connect with me on Instagram. You can find a link in the description of this podcast and I'll see you over in the next episode.